Hi guys, this is Kiki. <laughs> anyway, this is Valencia. They love Chata Valencia, but Valencia is the city. Chata means nice, so it's nice Valencia. And this is Valencia. But this is what it looks like real quick, okay? We got food over here. Hi guys, how much do bananas cost? 60 pesos per kilo. 60 pesos per kilo? Okay, so it's 60 pesos per kilo. Do a math. 50, I haven't checked the rates today, but every day they change between 55 to 57, 58. So that's what it goes for. So if you want a good deal, come to the first stand next to Valencia and get your man with the bananas. And for, and there's a lot of stuff here for the food and a lot of stuff for, who knows? Welcome to Kiki in the Philippines. <laughs> Hello, young ladies. Hello. Okay. Are these string beans? These are really long. Yeah. Are these string beans? 10 pesos per one piece. So this is 10 pesos. Yeah. So this is 10 pesos in the string beans. I guess you got to cut them up, right? Yeah. Or you cook them together. Just for this, like that. Or imagine if you boil them together and with, with spaghetti sauce, you can make spaghetti string beans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, something different. <laughs> <laughs> we got some these chili peppers or jalapenos? Uh, yeah. black, no black pepper. These aren't too hot, right? The red ones are the hot ones, right? Okay, how come these bananas are tiny? Why are they, they so small? The bananas here. Ah, banana. At 50 pesos of 6 pesos. 6 pieces? Yeah. So this is 20 pesos? Yeah. So together you figure what? Uh, Three pesos by together 25 pesos, pesos eh? Please, yeah, so this is about 25 yeah. pesos together. And um, evidently the small ones are a lot sweeter, okay? That I've noticed. And you got more food stands here. Basically you have an idea, okay, what it's about. Okay, let, let's go see some other parts of Valencia. Ta-da! Every night in Valencia, there's a open market, not a, a food market. See those little stands over there? They're preparing now for the evening. They make uh, lechon, barbecue chicken, and they sell it there with the rice and stuff like that. And they sell it to the public. What are you guys doing now? Uh, minus one singing contest. Oh, so it's a singing contest called Minus One. Is that on television or? Uh, yeah. It's on, it's on, it's, it's on uh, Philippine television. You have singing contests here and on, Friday nights they have bands. Acoustic. Huh? Friday and Saturday acoustic. They have acoustics. Okay, they have acoustics. Sometimes they have concerts here too. Although there's chairs all over the place here, and it's pretty nice here at night actually. Hey, everybody want to be in the vlog? Yeah. If everybody wants to be in a vlog, say it's better in the Philippines. It's better in the Philippines. Everybody say okay. Everybody agree, right? You want to be on, 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 you want to be on. Everybody here want to be on, right? Yeah. Okay. Tell me, what are you guys doing? Practice. Practice for a play or for? Yeah, play. Is the play going to be performed here? No. Near school. Near school? Yeah. Oh, so this is school play Sunday, early afternoon, Filipino students getting together to practice their art. I told you about the Filipino spirit, okay? They're very dedicated, they're hardworking, even as youngsters. Thank you very much. See you guys. Thank you. They're getting ready now for tonight's show. This is tonight's show coming up. We got this, they're putting this together the stage. We got the lighting and sound equipment here. And they imagine they'll be ready to go in about four or five hours. Thank you for the service. Hey guys, even in the Philippines, we have Jehovah Witnesses, okay? It's a Christian country and very little crime. Very little crime. Everybody has morals and values, okay? So guys, what's your names? Prince. Prince? And you? Destroy. Destroy? Joshua. Oh, Joshua. Okay. Oh, Prince and Joshua. I said, what? Prince Destroy. Whoa. <laughs> no, 
no, Prince and Joshua, okay? Take care, thank you for your service. Thank you. God bless you. Hi, what's your name? I'm oh, Tim. Tim, what's your name? Shella. Shella. This is Tim, expat that wants to be on camera. <laughs> no, no witness protection here. No witness protection. And Shella? Shella, eh? Yes. Shella, hey, I know of somebody named Shella. Okay, so uh, what brought you to the Philippines? Tell me. Um, easier way of life. Easier way of life, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Calm, Calm, everything's hot. Chill. No, and everybody's not mad at each other. No, and you always have something to do. Yeah, they always So it's not do. boring, it's just calm without being boring. Yeah. And the people, do you find uh, crime? No, I haven't had any. Another I person? I, I feel very safe here, much safer than in the US. See? And where in the US did you live? The most recently, Houston, Texas. Oh, Houston, Texas. <laughs> you hear that, uh, Ted Cruz? <laughs> he don't have to run to Mexico to, <laughs> to find peace. He, got, he, went, he came to the Philippines. <laughs> Thank you. Thank All you, right. Tim. Take Thank you, easy. Sheila. Appreciate it. God bless you guys. You guys been married long? Oh, we just met each other. Man, oh, man, you guys look perfect for a couple. <laughs> All right. The municipality of Valencia is their municipal building, okay? It's like kind of uh, their city hall, I imagine. And they're making a facelift, so it's, everything's looking nice. We can't go inside because, as you see, construction's going on. So this is what it looks like. Hey guys, I'm on YouTube. Is it okay if your face goes on? Okay? It's okay? Okay. All right. Get this guy, get this guy. Way back, man. <laughs> nice people, aren't they? So, thank you. Hello, ma. And Mario Hapo. I love it here, man. Oh, guys, you want to get rejuvenated? Honestly, honestly, come here. No baloney, no bullshit. Come here. You got the ATMs. This here is the local Catholic high school. It's closed right now. If it was, we would go in. No problem. we pretty, uh, I stopped inside the other day. They said, yeah, we could film, but today's Sunday. This here, this is noticing. Municipality Tourism Office. In other words, it's like a, an office for tourists. It's pretty cool. They're closed again because it's Sunday. But, uh, they have their own building to cater to tourists. That's how many expats are here. How many tourists are here? Okay, come on, let's go to the next one. Okay, ready? We have a public comfort room. And believe me, they ain't dirty. Not like the ones you see in, in parks, in New York City and stuff, right? It's come, they, like I say, people clean. That's their job. The city pays them to actually clean. All right. Driving by, seeing these guys here. This is another thing, okay? It's like New York City. In New York City, you got all these people trying to sell things in the street out of nowhere. But this is the Philippines, right across the street from the municipality building. They don't find you, they don't take away things from you. Everybody's gotta make a living and they know this. This gentleman here has got nice, beautiful shoes. Let's see what he sells them for. What do you have here? Tell me, what's your best seller? Uh, one right. This one here? Nike? Nike. Sure. How much yeah. these go for? 2,800. 2,800 pesos. So you figure almost $50. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you're cute, you're cute. Look at me here, the noise. Yeah, no, let me see. Okay. It's a best seller, right? Yes, sir. And this one? Nikes? This okay, one? hold on. How much this goes for? How much you sell this for? 2,800. 2,800 pesos. Yes, sir. So figure under $50. Look cool, man. Looks real nice. Very nice shoes. These light up or something or no? These oh, it's nice, man. Very comfortable. Nice. Comfortable. These are real nice, guys. What else you got? This one. Uh, this is a best seller. How much is this one? Yeah, it's 2,200. 2,200. Right? This is it's a store Nike, but a little bit different. 
I like this. I actually prefer this one over the other one. This is good for playing tennis or anywhere. Yes. You wish it, okay. What's your least expensive one? Um, the cheapest Nike. Do you have any? Okay. This one. And how much is this one? 1,700. 1,700 pesos. For a casual use. What? For a casual use. Yeah, it's a casual walking shoe. Okay. You got leather. Comfort. Only in the Philippines. <laughs> Here you go. All right. And what other brand do you have? Uh, we also have KD, sir. What are these? This one, KD. These are KDs? How much are these? Yeah, 2,600. Uh, 2, 2,600 for KDs. Not leather, but it's nice, man. Nice. Yeah. Comfort? Eh. Not as comfortable as the other ones. Okay. Like I say, I tell the truth, I wouldn't buy these for the money and stuff like that, but the other ones, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right. Do you have any Puma or anything like that? Uh, yes, one there. That's a Nike too, though. Kobe, sir. Kobe. Oh, these are Kobe's. How much are these? Uh, two, six, 2,600. 2,600 for Kobe's? Mamba. Huh? Mamba. Kobe Mamba. Kobe Mamba. God bless him, man. Eh? We're gonna miss him. Rest in peace. Yep. Okay. All right, my friend. Thank you. Oh. And for the more flamboyant guys, like Dennis Ramen. <laughs> How much are these? Two four, sir. Two thousand four. I, I. It's not for me. It's got that rainbow stuff, you know. Yes. <laughs> I don't like rainbow. All right. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Take You're care. You're welcome, sir. All right. Thank you. Yes. Tell you. Out of nowhere, I wasn't expecting to find this. It's a gold mine. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. I think Mark from uh, Every Man Has a Story said, it's not if you have an accident, it's when you have an accident. And the one day I didn't wear a freaking helmet, it happened.